And we just showed you how to take apart and put back together a radio sign in, a, in the previous clip. So in this one here, we want to go ahead and show you, uh, this is what we're going to use to program. This is the actual board. You saw this before. Right here is the connector we're going to use. We want to use this ST-Link to program. We're going to use these four. It's SWCLK, DIO, ground, and 3.3 volts. Some of the instructions say you don't need the 3.3 volt hookup. I could not get it to work without that. Even with the batteries in it, it just didn't seem like I wanted to trigger it to let it flash. So uh, we'll hook that up. So the first step uh, is to use these jumpers. You can find these on Amazon or, or um, eBay. But anyhow, the pins are going to go like this. So I'm going to hook up ground first. So ground is this one. And then the next one is the blue. Then the yellow. Then the orange. Those are all plugged in. The tougher part on here is hooking these up. This isn't the easiest thing to do. So we just match them up to what they are. So we have the, the orange is the SWCLK. So we so you look for that for the clock ring. So it's going to be eight on this pin. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on here. So we're looking for eight and the orange for eight. It's hooked up. And then we want the yellow for the DIO. And I believe that's for data in and out. That goes to pin nine on this one. And then ground, in our case, is green. So it goes up here to pin one. I'll give you a better shot of this here once it's all hooked up. And then blue goes to the 3.3. That's going to be pin five right here in the middle. If you can see that. And there it is hooked up. As you can see, those are all in. It's not the best mechanically, because you can see one of them just popped out there. Uh, that's something you have to kind of work with. I'm trying to find a better way to do this when I'm done, but uh, that will make it program, and I'll do that in just a moment. 